physical quantity right in physics we have physical quantities now these physical quantities depend on some other physical quantity also okay a physical quantity may depend on some other physical quantity some other physical quantity okay for example if we talk about your age right so your height is dependent on your age correct when you were very small of uh, let's say 6 months your height was quite less as compared to what you are now when you became 1 year old your height changed then when you became 2 year old your height changed 3 year old height changed so what is happening your height is a function of your age or you can see your height is dependent on your age similarly your mass also when you were 6 months old mass was different 1 year old mass was different 2 year old mass was different 3 year different 4 different so as your age is changing your mass is also changing all right so similarly many physical quantities depend on some other physical quantity so what you can say is or you can represent it by a function so y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of x what does it means it means that it means that y is a function of x y is a function of x okay you may also say that y is dependent on x y is dependent on x right it can also be said it can also be said that y is dependent on x okay now what do you mean by dependency dependency means as the value of x will change value of y will change as the value of x will change value of y will also change right now you might think that why all this we are studying here in topic differentiation we are doing it because differentiation is related to it so what is differentiation so differentiation is differentiation is rate of change of one quantity differentiation is rate of change of one quantity with respect to other differentiation is rate of change of one quantity with respect to other when change is very small when change is very small okay so just to tell you differentiation okay so differentiation is equal to delta y delta y means change in y upon delta x delta x is change in x so rate of change of y with respect to x now how to make sure that this change is very small by writing limit delta x tends to 0 so this is ensuring that change in x is very small so that gives us dy by dx okay that gives us 
dy by dx okay so what is differentiation it is rate of change of one quantity with respect to another when change is very small when change is very small all right good so you call it dy by dx you call it dy by dx or d by dx of y okay so now there are some formulas which we need to understand so number 1 d by dx of constant c so that will be zero that will be zero why because it is rate of change of one quantity with respect to another and there is no change in constant so d by dx of constant will be zero next d by dx of x so rate of change of some quantity with respect to itself that will be 1 d by dx of x will be 1 now d by dx of x to the power n d by dx of x to the power n so that will be n x to the power n minus 1 n x to the power n minus 1 next is d by dx of log x so d by dx of log x is nothing but 1 upon x d by dx of log x is 1 upon x next is d by dx of e to the power x so that comes out to be same as e to the power x so differentiation or integration of e to the power x gives same value e to the power x next d by dx of sin x so that will be cos x d by dx of cos x will be minus sin x d by dx of tan x will be x square x d by dx of cot x will be minus d by dx of sec x will be sec x tan x d by dx of cosec x will be minus cosec x into cot x okay so these are a few formulas which are standard and which you should memorize so that you can easily and quickly solve questions okay so let me give you some questions find find pen is not working just a second hello
everyone in the meantime i am dictating the question find dy by dx of root x find dy by dx of root x find dy by dx of root x Everyone, please yeah. keep your mics muted. Please keep your mic muted. Hello. Yes. Ah, hello, sir. Hello, beta. Hello, sir. Hello, beta. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. So why you? So you had called? Yes, because class is going on. You are not attending. No, no, sir. No, there is no class. Hmm. No, I am a standard boy. Oh, okay. What's I'm your name? My name is Chaitanya Nai. Okay. Okay. You can Thank leave. You, okay. okay. Just a second, everyone. I think 
it is hanged. Okay, now please find next question d by dx of x square plus sine x. d by dx of x square plus sine x. Okay, please find. Everyone, I need to restart my computer because it is not working. So you keep uh, continuing in the class. I'll need to restart. Okay. Just a second. Can you see the screen?
Just a second. Okay. So I gave you d by dx of root x earlier. D by dx of root x so that was d by dx of x to the power half so half comes in front half comes in front x to the power half minus one and that basically is one by two root x okay this was previous question now d by dx of x square plus sin x so differentiation of x square plus differentiation of sin x so that will be 2x plus cos x that will be 2x plus cos x that will be 2x plus cos x okay now further questions d by dx of 1 upon x plus log x plus 1 upon sin x please tell me the answer please tell me the answer
so that will be d by dx of 1 upon x plus d by dx of log x plus d by dx of cosec x because 1 upon sin x is cosec x. So 1 upon x will be minus 1 upon x square or let me show it to you. d by dx of x to the power minus 1 plus differentiation of log x will be 1 upon x plus differentiation of cosec x will be minus cosec x into cortex. Now differentiation of x to the power minus 1. So minus 1 x to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon x minus cosec x into cortex. So this will be the answer. dy by dx will be this. <laughs> correctly. How many of you solved it correctly? Good. Good. Next question. If y is equal to one upon x square plus one upon root x plus e to the power x find dy by dx find dy by dx please find So dy by dx will be d by dx of 1 upon x square. It can be written as x to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon root x. It can be written as d by dx of x to the power minus half plus d by dx of e to the power x. So that will be minus 2 x to the power minus 3 plus minus half x to the power minus half minus 1 plus e to the power x. So that will be minus 2 upon x cube minus half upon x to the power 3 by 2 plus e to the power x and that is dy by dx that is dy by dx okay okay everyone good good all right so these were the differentiation when only one thing is given and there is no multiplication or division which is minus 3 by 2. No, I have taken 1 upon 3 by 2, no? Asmita, it is 1 upon. So 1 upon, it is taking care of minus 3 by 2. I have taken that in denominator. Can you see that? If I keep it in numerator, then I need to write it as x to the power minus 3 by 2. But I have already written it in denominator. Okay. So let us move further. When quantities are in 
multiplication. When quantities are in multiplication. So how do we differentiate them when quantities are in multiplication? So d by dx of d by dx of u into v d by dx of u into v. So that will be u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. OK, so when two quantities are being multiplied, what we do? We differentiate them one by one. So first we took u out and differentiated v. Secondly, we took v out and differentiated u. OK, and answer will be addition of that. So for example. Find. Dy by dx. If. Y is. A. X is equal to Y is equal to X into sin X. Next Y is equal to. Root X into 10 X. Y is equal to. Sin X into log X. And fourth is Y is equal to. X to the power 5 by 3 into X to the power 10 by 3. Please find dy by dx in all four cases. Fine.
Okay, everyone, please pay attention. So in first case, dy by dx will be d by dx of x into sin x. Now if I call this as u and this as v, so what we need to do is x into d by dx of sin x plus sin x into d by dx of x, right? So that will give us x cos x plus sin x. So our answer in first case will be x cos x plus sin x. Answer in first case will be x cos x plus sin x. Now let us talk about second part. So I'm writing directly. It will be root x into d by dx of 10x plus 10x into d by dx of root x. So that will be root x will remain root x. Differentiation of 10x will be 6 square x plus 10x will remain 10x. Differentiation of root x will be 1 upon 2 root x. Differentiation of root x will be 1 upon 2 root x. All right. And that is the answer. <coughs> that is the answer. Now let us talk about y is equal to sin x into log x. So sin x into d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of sin x. So sin x will remain as it is. Differentiation of log x will be 1 upon x plus log x will remain as it is. Differentiation of sin x will be cos x. So this will be the answer. This will be the answer. Okay. Then comes the next part. d by dx of this, 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 this. So what we can do d by dx of x to the power 5 by 3 into x to the power 10 by 3. That becomes x to the power 5 by 3 plus 10 by 3. That becomes d by dx of x to the power 15 by 3. d by dx of x to the power 15 by 3. That is nothing but d by dx of x to the power 5. Answer will be 5x to the power 4. Answer will be 5x to the power 4. Those people who are solving it like x to the power 5 by 3 into 10 into x to the power 7 by 3 plus x to the power 10 by 3 into 5 by 3 into x square by 3. All right, that is also not wrong, but you are spending so much of time. You are spending so much of time in solving a question which could have been easily solved like this. So when you spend more time, your uh, time in exam is lapsing. When you do so much of calculation, there are more chances of doing calculation mistake, right? Only those people who do calculations, they do calculation mistake, right? So you could have saved calculation mistake and time by solving it this way. Keep that thing in mind. All right. So this was when quantities are in multiplication. When quantities are in multiplication. Now let us talk about when quantities are in division. So when quantities are in
when quantities are in division when quantities are in division so what happens when quantities are in division so d by dx of u by v so one thing will be in numerator other thing will be in denominator and you need to find its differentiation so d by dx of u by v so how do we do it pay attention we do it v du by dx minus u dv by dx upon v square so basically it is v du by dx minus u dv by dx upon v square all right so that way we can very easily solve differentiation of u by v when quantities are in division so let us see how to do that let us solve some questions questions find dy by dx in each case number 1 y is equal to log x upon x number 2 y is equal to sin x upon e to the power x number 3 y is equal to cos x upon sin x and number 4 y is equal to um, 10 x upon x root please solve everyone please solve
done. Ronal is playing smart. Okay, everyone, please pay attention. So in first case, uh, dy by dx will be u, that is x, into dv by dx. No. Our formula is v du by dx. That means denominator into differentiation of numerator right minus numerator into differentiation of denominator upon denominator square so that will be x into differentiation of log x will be 1 upon x minus log x upon x square which can be further written as x by x becomes 1. So 1 minus log x. That can be written as 1 minus log x upon x square. OK. So that will be 1 minus log x upon x square. All right. In second case, dy by dx will be e to the power x into differentiation of sin x that will be cos x minus sin x into differentiation of e to the power x will be e to the power x upon e to the power x whole square. So what we can see is this, this, this. So that gives us cos x minus sin x upon e to the power x. That gives us cos x minus sin x upon e to the power x. Okay. Okay. Now this time, this can be written as d by dx of cot x, which will be minus cos x square x. Answer, which will be minus cos x square x. Okay. And in last part, it is d by dx of 10x upon root x. So that will be root x into differentiation of 10x minus 10x into differentiation of root x upon root x whole square which can be written as root x into 10x will be 6 square x minus 10x into 1 upon 2 root x upon x because root x square is x root x square is x okay that will be the answer that will be the answer all right okay any doubt any question good good so that way we can find differentiation that way we can find differentiation now there is uh, something called uh, differentiation of function of function let me tell you what it is 
Suppose if I give you differentiation of d by dx of sine of 2x. Okay. If I give you differentiation of sine of 2x. So here there are two things. One is sine function and other is 2x function. Okay. So we have not just only sine x. It is sine of 2x. All right. So what to do in that case? So first, we do differentiation of the first function, which is sine function. So it will be sine will be become cos. So it will be cos of 2x. But we also have now 2x. So we are going to differentiate 2x. So differentiation of 2x will be 2. So ultimate answer will be or actual answer will be 2 cos of 2x. And that will be the answer. We keep on differentiating until we reach to the last point. We keep on differentiating until we reach to the last point. That's how we do it. For example, d by dx of 10, 3x. Please solve everyone. d by dx of 10 3x. You need to pay attention and see how I have solved the previous question. Okay. You need to pay attention and see how I have solved previous question everyone. So now pay attention. First of all, differentiation of 10. Differentiation of 10 will be sec square. And what was the value? It was 3x. So sec square of 3x. After that, we are going to differentiate 3x. So 3x will be 3. Answer will be 3 times sec square of 3x. That is the answer. That is the answer. All right, it is quite easy. Nothing uh, difficult in this. You just need to practice. One more question. D by dx of cos 4x. Tell me the value. D by dx of cos 4x.
so first of all we are going to differentiate cos 4x so cos 4 will be minus of sin 4x after that you need to differentiate 4x and it will be 4 so answer will be minus of 4 sin 4x answer minus of 4 sin 4x all right okay d by dx of sin 2x plus 3 tell me the value Okay, so this will be sine will become cos. So it will be cos of 2x plus 3. After that, we are going to differentiate 2x plus 3. So it will be 2 plus differentiation of 3 will be 0. So answer will be 2 times cos of 2x plus 3 all right good next d by dx of e to the power minus 2x plus 3 tell me the answer So, it will become, first of all, e to the power x will remain e to the power x. So, e to the power minus 2x plus 3. It will remain as it is after differentiation. After that, we are going to differentiate minus 2x plus 3. So differentiation of minus 2x plus 3 will give us minus 2 plus 0. So answer will be minus of 2 e to the power minus 2x plus 3. This will be the answer.
this will be the answer minus of 2 e to the power minus 2x plus 3 okay this will be the answer all right so that is how we differentiate functions of functions there can be numerous variations of this, but I'm not going into that detail because up to your syllabus, only these type of questions are asked. Okay, this e to the power type functions you will find in uh, current electricity when charging and discharging of capacitor takes place or in inductors when e to the power minus RT by L, that type of uh, factors are there. And this sine and cos you will find in either uh, SHM or waves. So that's why we have studied only this much. All right. Good. Now we are moving further. We are moving further. Now there can be applications of differentiation. There can be applications of differentiation and those applications require that how one thing is happening when other is happening so let me give you a question these two are walls one is ground and one is wall okay now there is a rod or you can say ladder which is like this this angle is given as theta this angle is given as theta at that moment okay the question says this point is a this point is b if velocity of a is 10 meter per second if velocity of a is 10 meters per second at the moment find velocity of b find velocity of b so you need to find that what will be the velocity of point b at the same moment okay Please find.
give me the answer okay everyone please pay attention please pay attention what we are doing we are assuming that this distance is y we can do that we are assuming that this distance is x and this point is o this point is o point o is a fixed point point o is a fixed point yes or no yes so now there are two ways of solving this question either you can write x square plus y square is equal to l square or you can write x upon y is equal to 10 theta so by pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem x square plus y square is equal to l square right and that will be true at all moments x square plus y square is equal to l square will be true for all moments now differentiating with respect to time differentiating with respect to time so d by d of x square plus y square is equal to d by dt of l square all right now this can be further written as d by dt be very clear we are differentiating with respect to time so d by dt of x square plus d by dt of y square and is equal to zero because l is length of the rod which will remain constant so something is constant then its differentiation will be zero its rate of change will be zero because it is constant it cannot change so its rate of change will be zero correct now differentiation of x square so that will be 2x into dx upon dt because here we are differentiating with respect to time not with respect to x plus 2y dy by dt and that will be equal to 0. Now pay attention further. This 2, 2 can get cancelled. This is very simple. Now pay attention. What is dx by dt? dx by dt is rate of change of position of A. dx by dt is rate of change of position of A. So if dx by dt is rate of change of position of A, its value is 10 meter per second. So x into let me call it Va plus y. Now dy by dt is basically rate of change of position of B. But as it is decreasing, so we can use minus sign. So minus Vb and that is equal to 0. That is equal to zero so what do we get so y v b is equal to x v a and v b is equal to x upon y into v a v b is equal to x upon y into v a now listen very carefully v a is given as 10 v a is given as 10 what is the value of x upon y? x is base and y is perpendicular. So that will be cot theta. This is the answer. This is the answer. x upon y va and that comes out to be 10 cot theta. If value of theta is given, find exact answer also. If value of theta is given, you can find exact answer also. All right.
that's how we do that's how we solve okay please note Any doubt, any question? Any doubt, any question? So this is one type of application now. Sir, how do you know that B is decreasing? Okay. If you pull this ladder, this point will come down or not? Aspita? If you pull down this ladder, if a point is going away, ladder fall or not? You tell me. Yes, that's why VB is decreasing. I am not saying VB is decreasing. Komal, listen very carefully. I am not saying VB is decreasing. I am saying Y is decreasing. Why? Okay. I am saying that height of point B is decreasing. So as height of point B is decreasing, that dy by dt will be negative. Okay. Understood, Komal? Okay. Let me give you one more question. Let me give you one more question. Question. Now, in this case, this point is coming down with 20 meters per second. And this angle is given as uh, 37 degree. So this point is A, this point is B. Find velocity of point B at the moment. Find velocity of point B at the given moment. At the given moment.
Hmm. People are saying 15 meter per second. Let us see. So pay attention. We are considering this as Y. We are considering this as X and this as L. So X square plus Y square is equal to L square. Differentiating with respect to time. Differentiating with respect to time. So I am writing directly 2x into dx upon dt plus 2y into dy by dt is equal to 0. So that gives us x into dx upon dt. dx upon dt means vb plus y into dy by dt is minus 20. OK, minus because it is. Y is decreasing, right? And that is equal to zero. So VB comes out to be Y by X into 20. Y by X into 20. Now Y by X is nothing but 1037. So 20 into 10 of 37. So 20 into 1037 is 3 by 4. And people are saying it is 15 meter per second, which is correct. Which is absolutely correct. So VB comes out to be 15 meter per second. OK. Next. Next. Find dy by dx in each case. So y is equal to <coughs> Ten X into root X Y is equal to cot X upon root X rather than root X. Let us take as hmm. Yeah, let's find root X. Y is equal to e to the power x upon log x. Please solve.
Adik is asking, sir, if velocity of A was not decreasing. See, we did not say that velocity of A is decreasing. Listen very carefully. Or 20 meter per second velocity of A was constant. What was decreasing was the distance Y. Understood, Adric. Okay. Into differentiation of root x will be 1 upon 2 root x plus root x into differentiation of 10x will be sec square x. Okay. Similarly, cot x upon root x so dy by dx. X will cortex into differentiation of root x will be 1 upon 2 root x upon root x whole square. You can put the value and get the answer. dy by dx is equal to answer okay so that is how we can solve these type of questions if you have any doubt please feel free to ask Oops. In your last one, Samarth, there is no minus sign. Why? Samarth. Minus sign. Hmm. Your typo will be very costly. Okay. Be very clear about this. Such typos are deadly. OK, everyone, so that is how we do all these type of questions. We'll be studying. Yeah, Ronald, ask. Ask, Ronald. 